Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Today is March 13th, and I just want to do a quick video on SIVB, also known as Silicon Valley Bank. It looks like the stock remains halted, and it's not looking good for shareholders. On Friday, I made a huge mistake thinking that I can easily this, scalp. Just because it was the 16th largest bank, and I didn't expect this bank to shut down and the stock to get halted. I currently have 130 shares at an average price of 50.60. So $6,000 in this stock will be gone. <laughs> just like that, poof, gone. Here are my orders, and I just got this pre-market. I usually don't wake up this early, but for some reason I woke up early and thought, hey, you know, I can scalp this. So 100 shares at 4.46 Pacific time. And then I average down, the last trade I made was 525, 10 shares. And this stock got halted at 5.35 a.m. Pacific time. So 10 minutes later, it got halted. So nothing I could have done. There was a joint press release that came out yesterday. It says, today we are taking decisive actions to protect the U.S. economy by strengthening public confidence in our banking system. This step will ensure that the U.S. banking system continues to perform its vital roles of protecting deposits and providing access to credit to households and businesses in a manner that promotes strong and sustainable economic growth. So we take a look down here at the press release. It says shareholders and certain unsecured debt holders will not be protected. Yes, we are at the bottom of the totem pole. There's just no money left for us. Everyone that was already in or got in on Friday are out of luck. Over the weekend, Signature Bank got halted. The ticker is SBNY. So you can see that it got halted. There were volume here. There's no volume right now. It doesn't show up. But the people did buy puts on Signature Bank. And those will be gone as well. There were also a few banks that went down today. I think some people actually made money on those if they already had not invested on Friday. So we take a look at one of them. First, Republic Bank. So this stock was down 61%. And it actually went down all the way to 1753 before bouncing back up to a high of $40. Some of us, like myself, had no more capital to even scalp or trade this. And who knows, this could have easily been halted as well. One, along with two others, we have Western Reliance, and this stock went to a low of 746 and it rallied all the way to 2696. A lot of volume, and people definitely made money on this. And I just wish I had capital. Again, you just never know when a stock will get halted. If we go back to SIVB, we'll never see this money ever again. All the calls, all the puts, they're gone. Just like that in a matter of two days. Shut down, stock halted, investors lose everything. I guess that's just part of life. That's part of the stock market. And... I invested $6,000, which is a lot of money. And I guess some people actually put a lot more. And thankfully, I didn't have a lot more to put into this. It's just a terrible feeling. And this happened to me two years ago with selling naked calls on AMC. Really terrible luck. I mean, that day was really bad. I couldn't sleep for months. I mean, this $6,000... I can easily make back, which will take some time. But that loss on June 2nd, I will never ever make that back. And it just shows that do not put everything all in one stock because you just never know what's going to happen to the company. Never over leverage. And if we take a look at some news here, we can see that multi-millionaire Twitter 
philanthropist offers huge reward for whistleblower in SVB bank collapse. I hope they find the people that are responsible for this, because shareholders were screwed. I mean, we made the choice to get into it, but there's no reason for this to have happened. This wasn't a main stock. This wasn't a penny stock. I can understand if it was main stock, penny stock, or even a cryptocurrency, but it's none of that. It's a bank, 16th largest bank that's been around for a very long time. And just like that, it's gone. Money's gone. So I have a lot of reflection to do. Let me know your thoughts. What are your plans? Did you buy in on Friday? And what do you think about this whole situation?